Hey, so you want to scale your business? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to scale your business by sacking yourself or replacing yourself. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm James Sinclair. I'm a business owner here in the UK. I've been running businesses for the last 15 years. I'm passionate about entrepreneurship. I take all of the experience that I've got from running my multiple businesses to help grow your business. If you love videos on marketing, business and entrepreneurship, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so the gods of YouTube can let you know we're bringing out great new content to grow your business. Hey guys, welcome back. Now look, I want to get into this because most people are building profitable jobs and not profitable businesses. What is a profitable job? Well, this is a person that starts out in business, they come out of employment and they start turning the wheels of entrepreneurship and they're scared of employing people. Oh, I don't want to employ people. I've got to find a salary. Absolute disaster. So all you're doing is building a profitable job and really my biggest advice if that's your mindset is go back into a job or create a lifestyle business where you're funneling cash out of this lifestyle into investments that are going to look after you in the future. But really, you want to be getting into the lifestyle of doing both, employing a team around you, because once you've got a team, you've actually got a business. You've got something that's an investment that someone will want to buy when you've finished your business. No one wants to buy a profitable job. So we need to get into the mindset of thinking how to scale your business by sacking you. That is the mindset that I go through in my whole career. I'm always thinking, how can I sack myself from this role? So if you're doing the administration, how can I sack myself from the administration? If you end up running the operations, how can I sack myself from the operations? See, when we start out in business, we're in all these different multiple hats. We're the head of operations, we're the head of sales, the head of marketing, the head of getting stuff done, the head of the impossible, the head of the possible. And I'm just going through working out how I can get things rid of things one at a time. Now, I'm also under no illusion that it's hard building a business. So let me tell you about the first things that I got rid of in my business. When I started out 18 years old, I was in business, uh, I had an entertainment agency and I was funneling all this work all over the show and I'd moved out and I was in this house and I was doing the cooking and the cleaning and I hated doing it. And I realized for just a few pounds an hour back then, I could employ a cleaner to come and look after the house. Boom, I gave myself sales and marketing time, actual time to grow the business rather than run the house and run the administration business because that was the next person I brought in. I brought in an administrator. They came in and done all the paperwork and done all the filing. Boom! Got myself more time to do sales and marketing. And I kept on thinking like that. I then was doing the operations of the business. I employed my right-hand man, Aaron, who's still with me right now. He took over the operations. Boom! That gave me time to go out there, grow the business, bring in customers, get customers, make joint venture partner deals happen. And it's basically you go through this process and I'm, I'm just thinking about it here when you look at a company organization so you've got a CEO and we're just going to put up here we've got shareholders at the top and that's really guys where we want to go in our business we want to be thinking how can we be a shareholder a chairman an owner of our business but not anywhere else in the business this is the mindset that you need to have so we've got the CEO and then over here we've got all these other departments in a business so we've got sales, marketing, HR, uh, operations, and then underneath you've got all the technicians of a business. And they're all there, uh, and these are the workers in the business. And if you roughly look over this, we're creating a pyramid situation. I call this the entrepreneur's pyramid. 8% of business owners operate down here. They're the technicians of their business. They're the operators of their business. They're doing the do in their business. Then when you come to the CEO, about 15% of business owners can actually say, yes, I'm a managing director. I'm managing my workforce. And then the top 5% become owners and shareholders of their business. We want to be working up the entrepreneur's pyramid as fast as we possibly can. And we want to be getting rid of these roles one by one. First stage is getting rid of those. Second stage is becoming the CEO of our business. Third stage is becoming the shareholder owner of our business. And we want to be working up that entrepreneur's pyramid by getting rid of the silly tasks that take all your time up. I call them important but low value tasks. Administration, emails, bookkeeping, all really important but there's so many people that can go and do that stuff. The thing that's hard to get is the person that can do sales and marketing, the person that can actually get customers for your business. That's the last task that we give away. It's the task that I strongly believe, if you're a business owner focusing on that more than anything else, you're gonna scale your business PDQ. That's pretty damn quick. Little anagram thingy-majig acronym, yeah. A little acronym there for you. 
Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it to help grow your business. Don't forget you can watch more of my videos by clicking here. And don't forget to hit subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking this button right here. It gets better than that because you can come and see me at one of my seminars to help grow your business. All the details of how you can get to one of those for free is in the video description.